In today's video, we will be reviewing the late 2010 version of Apple's MacBook Air. With the MacBook ranging from a small size of 0.111 inches for the 13 inch model, it also has an SD card, a USB 2.0 port and a mini display port on the right hand side. On the other side, if I can get it to focus here, is a MagSafe charger, another USB 2.0 port and a headphone jack and a microphone. And that should be focusing for you right now. And there we go. So yes, also MagSafe, USB 2.0, headphone jack, and speaker. Not speaker, microphone, sorry. And that's all the ports that are located on the MacBook. The operating system which is being run on this Mac at this current moment is OS X Yosemite Beta 10.10. It is a MacBook Air 13 inch late 2010 model. It has a processor of 1.8 GHz Intel Core Duo, 2 GB RAM, and a NVIDIA GeForce memory card. It has a built in display of 1440 by 900, which is not HD by any means. As memory card support, and then there's service tabs and everything like that. So, that's all of which is included in the About This Mac area. So, I'll leave that to you. Oh, and that. The MacBook Air features a full QWERTY keyboard which is included on the MacBook Pros. It's the same keyboard so you're not missing out on any size on the keyboard. It also features the typical thing of Apple with the Apple logo lighting up once it is being turned on and also when it's going off it will not light up anymore. This is typical of Apple and is featured in nearly all of their laptop products. In comparison to another laptop from 2010, the size difference is absolutely amazing. The one laptop on the right hand side is nearly twice as thick as the MacBook Air from the same era with nearly about the same specs. In fact, the, the thicker one has 4GB of RAM and that's roughly about the only difference. Screen uh, pixels are about the same and all of that, but the size difference is enormous. The, uh, the thicker one is just a wow, and Apple's is just super wow. Although them being one 11 inch and one 13, the 11 inch is actually the thicker one of the two. Because this runs on an SSD, the typical thing for a, a person who owns an SSD card is not an SSD card, an SSD hard drive is for them to see how long it takes to open every single app on the laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'm going to come back whenever it's finished. So for the MacBook Air to open every single app that is, I have on the laptop at this present moment in time, it takes about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to open every single application. Now by 
any means that is very quick for a computer, but it's that is very quick for a four year old laptop. So the uh, MacBook Air was certainly top of specs back in the day. So what is my opinion on this MacBook Air? Well, it is a very, very good laptop for the age of it and certainly meets up to expectations even with today's computers, which is no mean feat. And that should be something that's congratulated by Apple. And yeah, so if you're thinking of buying maybe a MacBook Air, you're nearly just as well off buying one from a couple of years ago. You'll also get it cheaper, but it'll also perform very well as most Apple products do not downgrade in speed or anything that on over time as you can see with the speed tests and everything like that so if you were looking to buy a MacBook Air or anything like that I would strongly advise you do as it's very quick and you probably will never be let down so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye